Maayong hapon sa inyong tanan. Ah, uh, it's so nice to be here in Cebu. I wish I could stay longer than a few hours. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank you to our friends from the press for being here today, and thank you in advance for helping us spread the word about this. Gerald. Yes, bro. Um, good afternoon. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm happy to be back here in Cebu. Um, I don't know if some of you know that I made my first full-length here, film here in Cebu. Yeah, confessional. That was 10 years ago. So, um, yeah. so um, thank you for, for um, attending this private, uh, very intimate screening. And um, salamat din sa um, for staying. And um, looking forward to your whatever questions you want to ask. Comment on the uh, original X rating, right? Because um, uh, I really have, I haven't really had a chance to explain what happened back then. Pero in a nutshell, um, what happened was the first panel who rated it X were actually offended by the film. Um, they were kind of just looking out for a, a small group of people who might be offended by it. Pero sila mismo hindi sila offended, which. Which already makes the whole uh, X rating highly questionable based on the guidelines, nila. Because small group, there. sorry, we're the small group. Um, small conservative, group. Uh, yeah, conservative people. Na, yeah, the, the usual conservative people na, who might be offended by nudity and profanity and etc. etc. So yeah, um, so that makes the whole uh, X rating highly questionable. Because um, if you follow the guidelines and everything that was everything that came before uh, formulating those guidelines, they were already um, highly inconsistent with it. So, yun lang. And, um, and what, what, what's the second question? What Sorry. should be out? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, para sa akin, um, R16 should be fine. Yeah. After General Luna, which um, back then was kind of like the hardest film I, I've done in terms of logistics. Sabi ko, um, gusto kong gumawa ng sobrang simple na pelikula. Um, maliit lang. <laughs> As in, sobrang simple. And ito yung lumabas. So, um, after this, I was really, sobrang napagod daw actually. And, um, hindi lang kasi siya about logistics eh. it, it's It's about the entire creative process and, um, Yun nga, yung mga iba ibang teams and trying to, to tie them all together. So the, the only thing I can say was it was it was really difficult uh, to, to produce this. Pero um, in a way, sinuwerte din ako kasi the, the executive producers were so supportive. And they just let me do whatever I wanted within reason, syempre. Uh, and within, within budgetary ano, reason. So, um, pero yun, um, so yun, pero nahirapan ako and... Um, Frankly, parang uh, yun, yun muna yung magagawa kung ganyan ka-extreme. And after that, I kind of want to go back to a more simpler uh, storytelling style. And then maybe after another 10 years, mababali ulit na ngayon. The, the, the entire thing actually was uh, a process of exploration for me. Kasi personally, never pa akong gumawa ng ganyang klaseng pelikula. So, habang ginagawa namin yung pelikula, medyo hinahanap ko pa siya yung kung paano siya ikwento. Um, in fact, um, kasi usually when, when I do movies, sobrang planado, planado na lahat. And, and alam ko na yung timing and yung, yung pacing ng mga actors. Dito, while we were shooting, medyo hinahanap ko pa siya. And then, when, when we finished shooting, inedit ko yung buong pelikula according to the script. And sobrang hindi siya nag-work. And medyo nag-panic ako personally and parang I took like a day off and then I re-edited the entire thing and yun yung lumabas. So, uh, the, the, the whole film actually is me pretty much searching for how to tell the story. Pag hindi mo na kaya, sumigaw ka lang, tapos! Um, you just have to sometimes let it out. But uh, I deal with it by working out. <laughs> which can be stressful also. But um, the best way to know for me is to connect with nature. Do you also meditate and a bit of yoga? So that's with the stress. Um, 
the, the sleeping hours, honestly, it's one of the worst stuff, I think, that I have to, people like us, like people in the industry have to work to deal with. It's really hard, especially now I'm feeling it more that I'm getting older. When I was young, parang, wala, okay lang, segue kung segue forever, okay lang. But now, siguro kasi, I still have to to work out, yung ganyan, and dami kong gustong gawin. Nagbabug down na yung system ko. It, I'm not as, kumbaga, it really, it's really a bit bad, for, it's quite bad for your health. So I'm really grateful that now they're giving it 2 a.m. cutoff. But even that, parang, parang na nasa ka sana one day maging 12. Alam mo yung parang, um, but I'm already grateful instead of ending at 7 a.m. the next day. Uh, with the things naman that I miss out on, like, um, the things that I used to do when I was an artista. Kasi when I entered, 19 na ako. So, na, ang dami ko nang nagawa as a normal, uh, yung average person that, you know, has the freedom to do all these things without being judged by everybody else around her or him or her. Uh, yun lang yung nakakamiss. Mas, nagagawa ko pa naman sa ibang bansa. <laughs> yung ikaw yung nakatitig sa tao, imbis na ikaw yung tinitignan. Uh, sarap nung tumingin sa tao eh. Tsaka yung parang pag may nakilala ka, wala silang first impression na sa'yo. Yung parang marami na silang nabasa tungkol sa'yo. Masarap din yung ganun. Tapos kikilalanin nyo talaga yung isa't isa base sa conversation niyo sa araw na yun. Yun yung mga nakakamis siguro. Pero ano naman yun eh. Uh, sanay na. Sanay yan. Ay, Jero Taro. Kakapalabas lang na yun na eh. So, ako parang, oh my god, it's like, I have a psycho thriller, would you like to read it or read for it? Ganyan. I was in LA, tas, sabi sa kanya, F, yeah! Tas, I go, ay, hindi pala tayo close, sorry. Na-excite ako. So, pinadala niya sa akin. I was expecting parang mga uh, gone girl, mayroon akong papatayin, or may murder, something. Seven, or whatever. Silence of the Lambs. Ganun. Hindi, yun yung nabasa ko. Habi ko, alam. Parang ako, mga artista, ganyan. It's like, wait lang. But I really wanted to do something different from what I've been doing. Uh, like Jane. Sabi ko, ako nga si Jane. So, you, uh, so, because of that, I said, you know, I also wanted to meet with Gerald because I'd never met him before. That's, that's all I asked. Like, one meeting with him before I actually go into auditions to, to understand where he's coming from and what the, what the film is about for him. Yeah, and then, yeah, then I read, read for it. I, I really wanted to do the film. 